It's a tough test that encompasses just about all the skills an infantryman needs. 31 tasks are tested, and a single failure on three of them eliminates the candidate who gets it. Two failures on any one task puts an automatic end to a soldier's EIB quest. Each task must be done by the book and within a standard time limit. Tested soldiers have a lot to remember, and they're tested as realistically as possible. That makes getting the EIB very tough. We can walk through here every day and say, I know this task and I know that task. But once you put under the clock, under the, uh, the gun and the, and the pressure, they find out that they're not as quite as good as they thought they were. Testing for the expert infantryman's badge is done on a voluntary basis. Just to be able to compete for the badge, candidates have to shoot expert with their M16 rifle and pass a standard Army physical training test. For those who qualify to compete for the badge, there's a single-minded focus on winning the award. It's very important to them. It's the highest award and the highest honor an infantryman can get, so it's, uh, it's a mark. It, it shows you really know your stuff, so um, I wanted to get it. I think it would look great on my uniform, and it's um, the highest goal. That's right now, it's my goal. It's a tough goal to reach. Halfway through the first day of testing, 30% of those attempting to get their badge had already failed. For the few who succeed, the expert infantryman's badge will give them instant credibility. It symbolizes an all-around knowledge of combat skills not common in average soldiers. For AFKN News, Army Sergeant Don Brickey, Camp Hovey.